What's up Internet? In today's video, we're going over disassembly and maintenance on the jack system. To start disassembly, first unscrew the front cylinder, followed by your nozzle and your donut, and the stem will be pressed into the back of it. And that is as far as you need to go for general maintenance. So beginning with the front cylinder, you want to take a cloth, wipe out the inside of the cylinder. Nothing really to it. Good to go there. All right, now for the nozzle, I do recommend removing the O-rings because the O-rings will actually blow out under pressure and any dirt in the airline get trapped underneath of it. So to remove the O-rings, I recommend a O-ring pick tool. It's going to be a lot easier to get to some of the O-rings and this one in the back is a little tricky to get to, so this helps a lot. So when removing the rear O-ring, you're going to slide in next to the O-ring and pop it out of its groove. You don't want to stab the O-ring. Alright, once you get popped out of its groove, just hook it, pull it straight out the back. There you go. Now the external ones are a lot easier. You just pinch those aside and roll them out of the groove. So like that. That. And the front one's a little tighter, but you can do the same thing. All right, there you go. Now take your cloth and wipe out the grooves on the nozzle itself. All right, that's done. For the O-rings, you can actually wash them off with warm water and dish soap, but if that's not handy to you, just wipe them off will do in a pinch. Just kind of grab the O-ring and just kind of pass it through the cloth. Wipe it down. All right, now they're all cleaned off, just pop them back onto the nozzle. Now when it comes to reinstalling that rear O-ring, I do recommend tweezers to kind of help you hold onto that O-ring. So we're just gonna tuck it down into the bore and push it to the side until it pops into its groove. And once you get one side in, just kind of work it around the rest of the way, it'll drop in place. All right, once that's in there, the rest of them are easy. I'm going to start the front one, just slide over the tip, push to the side, roll it back into the groove. Sink the next one down. Like that, and then the rear one. All right, all clean, ready to go. Next up is the donut. So we're going to just remove this O-ring, it just sits on top, just pull that off, clean the inner bore. Make sure you get the side and the back of it so the whole bore is clean. All right, and then the counter bore in the back, clean that too. That's where your stem seals against. And you're good to go there. Drop this o-ring back on. It's, really, it's not held by a groove, it just sits onto a shoulder on the donut itself. For the stem, you don't have to remove the o-ring, so just a regular wipe down the outside is fine. Just clean the entire stem. Wipe off the O-rings, and you are good to go. And for the rear cylinder, we're just cleaning out the inner bore. Just wipe it down. All right. Okay, so now we're all clean and free of dirt and debris. It's time to re-lubricate the system and reassemble it. For lubrication, we always recommend Tech T gun sag grease. This is specially engineered for HPA systems, so unlike silicon oil or gear grease, it'll actually stay on the system during firing. Now the front cylinder does not need grease since it has carry about nozzle. For the nozzle, you're going to be lubricating the O-rings. So apply a visible amount of grease to each O-ring. Just have to be caked on, just a good visible layer. Alright, and the one in the back. Wipe the excess grease off the surface, and you're good. Since the jack only has one moving part, which is the nozzle, the nozzle is the only thing you need to lubricate. So, time for reassembly. So first, we're gonna take our stem, press it into the back of the donut. Just click in, take your nozzle, drop that into the donut, and then place a little assembly into the front cylinder. Now here, just make sure the O-ring is seated into its shoulder, so when you put it together, it doesn't get pinched. So just slide this on, and make sure the O-ring's not sticking out. All right, now we're just gonna drop this whole thing into the rear cylinder and screw it down. Now that's all you have to do for basic maintenance. It should be done every 30 to 50,000 shots. 
However, we're going to go a step further now and show you a more advanced version of this assembly where we highlight the owner locations as well as how to remove the solenoid and hairline. All right, so starting with the front cylinder, you have one external O-ring. Just pop this out of its groove. And there you go. To reinstall, just drop it back over and roll it over the end. In basic maintenance, we already covered the nozzle and the donut, so we're gonna skip those. Move on to the stem. If you do have to remove these, again, O-ring pick tool is highly recommended. I'm gonna pop them out of the grooves. Again, not stabbing the O-ring, just slide it from the side and pop it out. There's one. And two. All right, just reverse order. Slide it back over. You're gonna pinch it, push out the side, and just roll it into the groove. And on the rear, same deal. That covers that one. Now, if you're working with a factory O-ring kit, you're gonna find a little tiny O-ring with a screw, and you might wonder where that goes. It's actually on the bottom, and it's just a plug, so you should never really have to replace it, but if you do, it's gonna be a 1 16th Allen wrench, and just unscrew that screw, and you'll find the O-ring right in this counter bore. Right there. So, to reassemble, I'm actually gonna slide over top of the screw first. Don't fork this down, just snug is good. All right, so moving on to the airline and solenoid. To remove the airline, it's gonna be a one quarter inch wrench. Lock the flats on the fitting, break loose, then you'll be able to remove it by hand. You got the one little O-ring on the fitting. For the solenoid, you need a nine millimeter wrench, and just be careful of this plastic end cap. It is kind of delicate, so don't bump it and break it off when you're doing this. So just lock onto the flats, break it loose, and unscrew it. Like that. So slide it back in. Finger tight. Then use a wrench to snug it down. Again, do not torque it down, just snug is good. Then airline. And just snug that down too. All right, that covers both the basic and advanced versions of the Jack Disassembly and Maintenance. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more tech videos and tutorials. And as always, if you want to see a particular video, just leave a comment below. See you later.